What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? Ah, good days, bad days, better or worse. The good, the bad, the ugly. Next. Something, something go good, I let you know. Something go bad, I let you know. We all know things don't went bad. Things go bad for everybody. Um, but like damaged campers, breakdowns, and now add it to the to the list of bad. Busted out my back windshield. Yep, I busted out the windshield. I don't know how it did it, but it bust. Check it out right there. If you ain't follow me on Instagram, it's posted on Instagram. Uh, but check it out right there. You see, man, my Instagram link is below in the description. So follow me on Instagram too. My Instagram and my Facebook. In the link, follow. Also, like, subscribe, share. Share, subscribe, like. Either or, the, you know, it doesn't matter. But once you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell and click all so you get all my content whenever I drop, including when I go live. All right, cool. Now back to the ugly. <laughs> uh... I was just finished dropping off my load in Wharton, Texas. Everything's off, boom, boom. I push my stinger back in, everything's good. So, I hope that picture's coming in good. I, I kind of bouncing everywhere. Um, so, I go to turn my trailer around while I'm on, on their yard and I kind of make, I make a 90 degree turn. Made this 90 degree turn several times before. So I'm making a turn, making a turn. I heard something go, ka pop. Poop, poop, pow. That was it. I'm like, what the hell did I run over? And then I heard the glass shatter. I stopped, I jumped out the truck, I looked back there, my trailer is not touching my headache rack. Not even touching my headache rack. So I'm looking like, okay, what the hell just popped my damn windshield? My window is the back glass. So I'm tripping, I'm, I, I, I don't know what's going on, what happened. Um, but I'm I'm pissed at this I'm pissed at this point because my back windshield is gone. I, I'm literally pissed. Now, when I first got this truck, I got this truck in 2020, the year of 2020, because this is a 2020 truck. So I got it brand spanking new. I priced my front windshield because uh, a semi truck flew past me. And slung a rock into the windshield. Uh, they company paid to get it repaired. You know how they do that little glue stuff in there, and uh, and it seals it up. 
So while I was there getting that done, I priced my front windshield and I priced my back windshield. I asked them how much my front windshield would be if, uh, you know, if it ever got to the point where it cracked all the way across or it got shattered or whatever. They pulled up the numbers for my front windshield. My front windshield was almost, uh, what was it? I think it was almost five, five grand. And then I asked them about the back one. Wasn't worried about the size because typically size are cheaper. So she tells me about the back. She said, oh, the back one's going to run you almost, uh, almost as much as the front. It's, it's right around $2,000. I said, are you serious? Yeah. So it was like 19, it was like 1900 and 1980 some dollars, something like that. So right close to two grand. So when I popped this window, this window just shattered on me. I literally freaked out and got pissed at the same time. I was more pissed than freaked out. Uh, when it finally settled, I freaked out because I was like, dang, that's $2,000 that I got to put into a doggone window. It's all good. It's all good. No, it ain't all good. No, that's what I kept trying to tell myself. It's good. It's all good. It's all good. No, it's not all good. That's two grand. No, this is not, this is not happening. Oh, man. So, I get to a truck stop, uh, which the truck stop was literally right up the road. And um, I park, I start to clean up the glass and stuff. I, I, I get to, I go to the shop, cause I was out of Lowe's, I asked them for a box. See if they had any cardboard boxes or anything around or some cardboard. I, I covered up my window, duct tape and, car and cardboard boxes, and just covered it up. And I was on my phone looking at Safe Flight and trying to see what it's gonna cost me total to see if I can go ahead and put it on my credit card. So I'm looking it up, looking it up, looking it up, and I'm putting in all the information. And when it came back, I said, no, nah, I must've put something in wrong because this, this price can't be right. It can't be right. I do it all over again. Sure enough, it comes out to 400 and I think it's 452 dollars total for the whole repair to be done all replacement to be done I'm like but yo when I got this truck it was almost two grand for that window not why is it not thinking brand new truck and you're pricing for a windshield for a brand new truck that year that the truck came out I was in 2020 when I priced this truck. So there's not too many of the windshields out there for the truck yet. And those that's out there was high price because it was only a few of them. I wasn't thinking. But sure enough, I was like, oh, cool. I get through, put, oh, get my window squared away. I could drive over, they could put it in today. Well, that was my plan. When I got through taping, and taping the window up and putting the cardboard up, that's so I don't have no glass flying in on me or whatever. I forgot to set the appointment. <sighs> I go back to look, all the appointments are gone for that day. I'm extremely mad at this point. I'm like, man, oh, I didn't tell you guys. All right, I don't know which one to believe. I looked at my weather app. My weather app at that time said it was 90, 92 degrees, and it felt, uh, and with the humidity, the way it was, it felt like 101. My truck said it was 110. So I'm on the back of my truck, which y'all all done seen my truck, right? It's diamond plated. Stainless steel diamond plated. So I got the sun beaming down on me, reflecting off of my diamond plate, back on the me, plus the heat, and I'm out there working, 
trying trying to trying to get this stuff up there. I'm I'm pouring. I'm this is no joke. I'm pouring buckets of water. I, I could literally if I had a bucket under me while I was sweating, I I'm I I I think I could have filled up what maybe a quarter of the bucket. Cause that's how much I was sweating. So I finally get all this done. I'm mad that I missed the appointment, but I'm glad I got, got my window sealed up. So I could at least, you know, lay down for that night and uh and get up in the morning to see about getting the window fixed. So since I missed the appointment, I went ahead and set the appointment for the following day, 10 o'clock, a.m. Um, need I remind, need, need I say that when I got through doing that, I set my butt back in the truck, turned the air on, and I passed out. <laughs> but, uh, Son told me when I woke back up, son told me to set my alarm for uh, for 6 o'clock, 6 a.m. To get over to the location because I had already looked the location up on Google Maps, on, sol on satellite view, to see if there was some place for me to park my trailer. Just so happened, the Texas... Uh, the Texas uh, DMV was right behind the safe light and they do semi uh, the CDL testing in their parking lot. So it was a big enough parking lot that I could go over there, drop my trailer, uh, hop on over the safe light and let them take care of my truck. So, um, oh, I had to also take off my headache rack so they could get to the windshield. So the day before I went to Safe Flight, while I was taping up my window, I had to figure out I had to figure out how to unbolt all my bolts on my headache rack so they could come off the next day. Now, dang, I love that. Yep, oh, I knew it was something. Um, piece of my headache, right? That I left them my trailer. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not pulling my trailer. I, I explain that in a minute. Um, so I get up at six. I leave the truck stop about six thirty. Safe flight is literally, literally, no lie. Safe flight was like 15 miles up the road from where I was already located. So I shoot on up there, drop my trailer off, disconnect my trailer, get over there, walk in and ask them to, you know, just wanted to know if one of the guys could look at, one of the technicians to look at my truck to see if I had to take my headache rack off or could they put the glass on with the headache rack where it was at and come out and look oh yeah yeah everything no nah, yeah if you take it off it'd be a whole lot easier to keep it from smearing the um the adhesive and stuff that we use to uh put the, put the glass in i said all right no problem so i take it off i, I take it off i go back in let them know it's it's taking off. I just sit in the truck until about nine o'clock, nine thirty, whatever, and I come back in to check to see if y'all need a uh, new truck. They say, well, we might be able to squeeze you in since you know uh, we might get a cancellation. It's seven o'clock right now. Just so happened they did get a late call. They seven o'clock appoint one of the seven o'clock appointments had said they was gonna come in late which was gonna be later. So, they squeezed me in, squeeze, yep. Yeah. yeah, they squeezed me in, and I was happy for that. They got me in there, I was like, how long was it gonna take? Nah, maybe an hour, maybe less. I'm like, really? I, it shocked me, because I wasn't expecting it to be, uh, 
so quick. So they get it back there, they get it in, they get all the glass. Uh, I asked the technician to kind of vacuum around my uh, fuel tank because the glass shattered was all down there on the fuel, on, on my actual fuel tank for my truck, the main fuel tank. So it was down, it was right there above the fuel pump. So I actually could evacuate that up for me because, you know, I don't want nothing cutting my um my uh, my tubes, my lines coming out of my um fuel pump. He got it all up. He, he, he cleaned it up pretty good. The only glass he couldn't get is inside the truck, which I knocked on the other side of the bed. So I'm gonna take care of that when I get home, which I hate to do because. I'm on my way home anyway. I was on my way home so I could go ahead and do my oil change because I am due for oil change and I am 2,000 miles overdue right now. <laughs> so I was supposed to bring everything with me and I left it at the house. Thought I was going to be back home for an evening before, before it rolled over, but that's not the case. Um, But lo and behold, they got me in, they got my glass fixed, told me I couldn't go to a car wash for like the next two days. Uh huh. Cause Lady Reaper needs a bath. She does. So I guess I'll do that when I get home. Um, I got the headache wrap back up. And here's the picture. I guess it's right there. Um, here's the picture of it finished. Everything's clean before the headache crack and after the headache crack is put up clean 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 safe flight did a pretty good job um, I really know if it's a good job it, uh, when it really rains and I don't see no leaks come through the back window <laughs> but uh, they did a, they did a good job at last uh, at last minute notice uh, I'm kind of glad it worked out I just hate it that I had to pay for a windshield but these are things that you know come about that we have to deal with um, this is the reason why you should have um, a maintenance account set up and put money in that maintenance account whether it's little by little 10, 20, 100, 200, 300, 400 dollars whenever, whenever or whatever you can put in there to build up so you can use your maintenance at this time uh, my maintenance is sitting there but my maintenance ain't built back up like it's supposed to be. I, I've been having a lot of issues pop up. Uh, dealing with the truck, we all know that was about 10 grand, but the insurance paid for eight, so I had to come out of pocket too. Um, I had stuff to come up at home that I had to deal with. So I'm pulling money from every avenue that I have money that it's, it, it just throws it off when you when you know you you got stuff set up a certain way and you know you want to do stuff a certain way and life just hits you. So where I'm at, 17 minutes. All right, let's get back to it. Um, I'm gonna post a picture. Well, I'm let's just wait till I stop. But and I'll tell you, you know, but yep. Wait till I stop. I'm getting ready to stop in Tipton, Indiana anyway, so I can get fuel and I'm gonna take me a nap right quick. <laughs> Cause uh I am leaving Gosha right now. Uh, I had made I had made Gosha uh yesterday. Um spun the night and I'm leaving out of Gosha. Um, uh headed to Georgia. Oakwood, Georgia. I'm going to uh, Camping World. So, I'll see y'all in a minute. Alright, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Uh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I am pulling a single camper. I know some of y'all looking like, yo, TC, what happened to the trailer? 
Nothing happened to the trailer. I gotta get home, like I said, to change my oil. Change my to check my oil. To change my oil, not to check it. Um, and I found a single going to Georgia. So I found one going to Florida. But I wasn't quick enough on the phone to get it. <laughs> so I took the one going to Georgia. And It's delivering about 45 minutes from my house. Just so happened. It's Camping World. And I'm delivering it tomorrow. Some of y'all might be saying, whoa, 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 TC, TC. Camping Worlds ain't open on all Sundays. Uh, they ain't taking deliveries on Sundays. Uh, some camping worlds take delivery seven days a week. But, uh, it's like I always say, take a little initiative. One, two, three. And go out your way and make a call, phone call. You ain't got to tell them who you with. Just let them know, hey, I'm planning on delivering. Uh, and I wanted to know if uh, you guys are open or accepting, if you guys are accepting deliveries on such and such date. You do that. And they'll let you know. And that's what I did. And they let me know. They said, yeah, we take them. Uh, from this time to this time. Okay, cool. So, I could deliver tomorrow as long as I do it between the hours of 11, 11 and between the hours of 11 and 3. If I could do it between those hours, I'm good to go. Which, that's what I'm gonna do. And shoot, it's 45 minutes from the house. I get over there, let them check it in, drop it, get all my equipment off, and I can go to the house. It's home time. <laughs> um. There you go, that's it. So, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it for this one. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. So, like I say, you guys out there, you know how it go. The roads may be grim. Well, what we gonna do? What we gonna do? We gonna reap that money all day, all day, you feel me? <laughs> all right, hey, y'all stay blessed. Keep the rubber side down, stay out of trouble. <laughs> all right, hey, remember, remember, summer month, beat the heat, beat the heat. That is the new motto, beat the heat, beat the heat. Check them tire pressure. Y'all saw that's just what I was doing. I've been in over at the, uh, at the camper, I was checking tire pressure. I already checked my tire pressures in my truck. I got everything even out. Remember, check your tire pressure. Beat the heat. That's the new slogan. Beat the heat. Beat the heat. You feel me? All right. Hey, y'all pass that slogan on. Let everybody know. Grim Reaper say, beat the heat. Beat the heat. <laughs>
Don't let the heat beat you. You feel me? <laughs> all right, man. Hey, I'll see you guys on the next video. All right. Oh, don't forget, like and subscribe. Peace.